man, things are bad today. You, you hear about, oh, the signs of the times, and you think, hey, they've been saying that for my whole life. They've been saying that since Jesus left, that he's going to come back. You know, people back then, they even sold their stuff and got to the top of the mountain and were waiting on him. You go to Hollywood, you hear people preaching, Jesus is coming back in five days. But you know what? The Bible says no man knows the hour. But there's signs. We know it's coming soon. And we know it. Matthew 24, 29 through 31 says, And he will send forth his angels with great trump trumpet blasts, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the sky to the other. And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. But immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will fall from the sky, and the power of the heavens will be shaken. That's exciting times, ain't it? That's really exciting times. You know, it's things going on, and you're a Christian, you're going to call up and be to heaven. But it's y'all are kind of nervous. There's a lot of loved ones that don't know Jesus going to be left behind. That don't believe. You know, Second Peter 3.10 says, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, in which the heavens will pass away, with the roaring elements will be destroyed with intense heat, and the earth and its works will be discovered. We don't know when he's going to come back. It says he's going to come like a thief. A thief don't announce when he's going to come to your house, when he's going to break in. If he did, you make sure you'd be extra secure that night. You'd be make sure you'd be sitting outside with your gun loaded, ready to blow his brains out, or something like that. You'd be ready. We don't know when Jesus come. So we got to be ready. We got to be ready now. It says it's going to come through the, like a thief in the night. You know, and in Luke 17, 34 through 36, and the previous verses that be right before the Matthew verse I read, Jesus talked about going to be in like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, days of Noah. Well, wickedness of rule. There's things going on that, you know, it says, is when Sodom, when the angels went and visited um, Lot to tell him he needs to get out, they were knocking on his door. The men wanted to have their way with the angels. We are in that kind of world. We are. You turn on TV and it's glorifying transgender surgery. We are in that time again. If that's in, and there's so much other stuff going on where we're glorifying sin and doing wrong. We are filling our pleasures and filling up the hole in our heart meant for Jesus with money, cars, big houses, Parting with friends. I'm not saying that it's, it's a sin to have that. But we're putting it first, like in the days, those days. Sleeping around on, on your spouse. Not even worrying about getting married. It's not important no more. We are in those days. Luke 17 through 34 to 36 says, You two be ready. Because the Son of Man is coming at an hour that you do not think he will. I tell you, on that night, there will be two in bed. One will be taken and the other will be left. There will be two women grinding at the same place. One will be taken and the other will be left. Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other will be left. They're going to be people in a baseball game, a football game, wherever sports being played when it happens. Half the people will be gone and stay, and stay empty in the blink of an eye. 
There are going to be people going down the street, the drivers. They're going to get caught in the rapture, and the car just going to go crazy. And it's going to be like that. It's going to happen. But the thing is, you got to be ready. You do not want to be left behind. You got to be ready. Yes, this is a heavy talk. It's the heaviest sermon I ever gave. This is very heavy. Because you don't know when is your last chance to accept Christ. I'm going to give an altar call in a minute. This could be your last opportunity if you're watching this video. You don't know him. I mean, a few years ago, before I moved back to North Carolina from Los Angeles, five kids went to Knott's Berry Farm for their Halloween thing. Driving back on the five, they lost control. All five kids perished that night. They never had another opportunity to give their life to Christ. They didn't know him. I was at work one day. One of my co-workers, her nephew, got in a bad wreck on the five. He was driving over 100 miles per hour in a little full Fiesta. Flying. Going fast. He hit a car. The bottom half stayed in the car. The top half ended up on the street sign. Up, beats up. He never had another opportunity. He was just in church that Sunday. And they were praying over him. You don't know when your last chance could be. You, you could go out right now, and the way this world is, and get shot, get murdered in other ways, get in a car wreck and get killed, or anything, you have a massive heart attack. You never know when your last opportunity is going to be. And then, you're, it's, it's eternity. If you don't know Jesus, your eternity is going to be in hell. God did not make hell for you. He made hell for the devil. It's your choice whether you want to go to heaven or hell. Christ died for your sins. He died for your forgiveness. He died for you. To, so you will have to. He gave you the grace. All you have to do is accept it. All you have to do is accept him as your Lord and Savior and give your life to him. As simple as that. I'm going to make this prayer right now. And by the way, this sermon is ready or not. Are you ready or you're not? Whether you're ready or not, Christ is coming back. Are you ready or not, your next breath could be your last. That's why. This altar call is so important if you don't know him as Lord and Savior. What you got to lose? At least you know that you won't go to hell. But Christ did it for you because he loves you. Romans 10 9 says, If you confess Christ as Lord, which means he's the ruler of your life, he's the ruler of your life, which means you'll be obedient to him. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. A few verses later, in, 10, in verse 13 says, Everyone calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He wants you to accept him as his Lord and Savior. The Father wants you to accept him as your Father. Just do it. Just pray this prayer with me. Father, I'm a sinner. I need you. I forgive me of my sins. I declare you the Lord of my life, the ruler of my life, and I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. I believe in my heart that once I accept you as my Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit will fill me and guide me. I surrender my life to you. 
and declare, God, my Father, forgive me, adopt me as your child. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer, welcome to the family of God. If you pray that prayer, put in the comments, let us know so we can celebrate with you. Because the Bible says, if you don't confess before me, and I won't confess you before my Father. That's what baptism is all about. I'm not saying you have to. That's between you and God and the Holy Spirit. But I recommend it. But at least put in the comments and let us know you accepted Christ. Or go to church this Sunday. Go to the altar and let you know you accepted Christ watching a video of someone. Of this crazy redneck preacher. With Star David behind him. And a Jesus freak cat on his, uh, on his head. Subscribe to our channel. Like our video. Comment. Again, let us know you accepted him. Jesus is our savior. Or we'll go to our Facebook page. Rooftop Ministries. And like and follow us on that page. And message us that way. We love you. We want to hear from you. We want to help you grow. Get into a church that preaches the word of God unfiltered. The way it should be preached. And not the way people want to hear it. And just come back and keep watching our videos. We love you. And we hope to see you again. Peace.